Hello everybody, Sean Anderson here, back again, after weeks and months away from the whole scene. Uh, work, as you know, there's priority, money. Anyhow, back again, the beer ramble with Lagunitas Pills. Czech style Pilsner, 6.2%, introduced in 1997. Lagunitas Brewing Company, based out of Petaluma, Petaluma, California. So I'm pouring my beer. Good score, 82 score on Beer Advocate, 86 with the bros. They like it. Uh, the brewery, see by the style of this I've had this before first time I had this was 2014 and I enjoyed it um, but didn't get a chance to review it so no I enjoyed it last year I should say 20 2015 first time having it and I liked it a lot but didn't get a chance to review it but now for you amongst the world I am so Have a whiff of beer it has those European hops that you smell, like most Euro lagers or European style Pilsners. Um, Pilsner Kell, one, one of them. Great grassy notes to this, you know, herbal. And you can look at the nice head right here. Bam, 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 bam. So, on to the taste. Not bad, guys. I would say typical Pilsner, but this one... Even though this is American-made beer, but it has those European, it has that European style, like a Pilsner or a like a uh, Pilsner. I kind of had European pills. Maybe Peron, a little bit of Carlsberg in this, so. Crossbrook Elephant, both work. It's nice, very crisp, very refreshing. Um, as I mentioned, the brewery is based in Chicago, uh, based in World Headquarters, based in um, in Petaluma, California. Um, uh, they've uh, it's a number selection of a lot of beers. Um, I've had from them, um, the Imperial Stout. Had the something something ale. I've had the IPA, which is excellent. <clears throat> um, of course, the brewery has uh, now uh, opened up their another. I believe in 2011, 20, 2011, 2012, maybe earlier than that. Uh, based in Chicago, another brewery, and then next year they're going to be opening a new brewery in um, Azusa, if I'm pronouncing correctly. California. Uh, so um, it was taken over by Heineken uh, 2015. So Heineken owns 50% uh, stake in the company. So now it's no longer considered a craft beer. Now it's considered a, a big boy brewery now. And having Heineken, which I think basically is just helping them distributing the beer, um, particularly uh, overseas, and which would, would, would help. Which would, which I mean, I mean, they've done well here in the states, but reach expanding their beer overseas to other markets will really do wonders. Will do well for the company. Um, uh, like I said, it's it's a this beer is very well made, and again, their styles have always find them to be quite enjoyable and quite reasonably priced. Um, you know, the six pack of the. IPA I think only runs for about eight ninety nine, and that's about fair for 
of beer, uh, particularly being owned by a, uh, a, a major conglomerate like Heineken International. Um, that, that's about right, in my opinion. Very crisp, very enjoyable, perfect for a summer day, but as you can hear right now, it's not looking like it's going to be a summer day. Um, it's coming down really hard out there. And, you know, we've been expecting this sort of bad weather for some time now, so uh, hoping it's not going to be like this next weekend, Memorial Day weekend. Um, but um, uh, let's see, 6.2%, maybe high, but I've always said, and even though your 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 lagers or styles like this, you know, the ABV may be low, but it tends to have more of a kick. But this is is, is high, six point two percent. But it says six on this bottle, but uh, the beer actually says six point two. But um, I could be wrong. But drink two more of these, you'll you're gonna feel it very quickly. But it's it's very exceptional. Again, summer months, warm. Outside, you know, a uh, group of friends. I could bring this to a party. I'll probably be the only one who will be drinking it. So, <laughs> you know, I, I, I can't, you know, some people, if I bring it to a party, would like it. Others would just, wouldn't just, like, you know, what is this, man? What's this? So, give me a real beer, man. Give me Bud, you know, give me, you know, give me, give me Mount Miller Light. You know. Hey. Like what they like, but I just feel I brought some to the party, you know, a little something different. Make it a beat, fun, interesting, but um, uh, pairing with this uh, sharp cheese, gorgonzola, goat cheese, um, Asian food. Indian uh, would, would, would go well with this with this beer. Um, balance all the spices and 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 the and the, the pungency and the sort of the, the extra strong flavors. This beer will cut through all that, and and, and it would really pair well. Really have a, a great setting, a good time, as I say. But. Um, Can't go wrong with this, folks. Cannot go wrong with this whatsoever. Uh, so I'm going to give this about the same grade. I'm going to give this a, I'm going to give this thing a, a nine. I think this is really good. So I, I think this is a really, really exceptional beer. And I see I finished it already, so early in the day, I'll function very well. So um, if you've had the Lagunitas pills and if the score is about fair, if it's not fair, you feel that there's a lower score and there's other beers better than this, whichever. We'll leave your comments and your thoughts on the bottom of the screen. And please subscribe to my channel. So, John Anderson Pierre, a 9 for the Lagunitas pills. Excellent, excellent. Excellent Pilsner. So, tell them to keep watching. Keep, continue to watch the Beer Ramble. And cheers.